What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It's just I, James. Redoptionagency.com, 22 years selling full time on eBay. And it is 4.30, so I came down to do some pulling. And I'm not liking today, man. So, so I, yesterday did almost a thousand dollars. Today we're at 4:30, so I was at like 5:40 or something this time yesterday. I'm at 2:20. My last sale came in at 1:39, so almost three hours ago was the last time anything's come through for me. Um, it appears like, well, I'll go to my traffic, my, at least earlier, my promoted numbers were down. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, pop-ups. 14 items sold, 11 organic, 3 promoted. So that's very much skewed in the non, you know, usually, you know, eBay, they're trying to get everything promoted. So the fact they only got three promoted sold, huge red flag right there. Yesterday was 41 promoted sold. Day before is 24, 20, 25, 22, 16. So only have three promoted as I stand is huge red flag so maybe I need to go in and turn off my uh, promotions and turn them back on uh, and then had two kind of stinkers so I've got to see here I'm kind of expecting like about 10 negative feedbacks from one buyer I uh, sent a lot of hats to Saudi Arabia and they stopped being tracked in Switzerland. Just vanished. You okay? You okay? Ooh, careful. When he come, tries to come down the steps, he'll go too fast sometimes and slide. But he was he's laying at the top of the steps. He just, I guess, moved and knocked something down the steps. But anyway, so this person has, this is a, was it the same person? They've left negative feedback for people before for not receiving an item. And so... I sent him an email trying to be extra nice, saying, hey, it could still show up, which technically it could. Uh, and I refunded him all of them. So just waiting to see if he's going to leave like 10 negative feedbacks. It wouldn't be the first time something like that happened. So it's rare, you know, few and far between. But what will happen, and if that situation happens, of course, I'll just put all the details, you know, in the thing, you know, apologizing again uh, the item looks like it was lost in switzerland on the way to saudi arabia so putting all those details in there will give the anybody who looks at your feedback and tries to decide if they're going to buy from you or not if they see all that detail in there it'll make sense to them go oh it was going to saudi arabia and it the tracking shows it disappeared in switzerland it wasn't really the buyer's or the seller's fault so and then, of course, you know, I, I, all my items are guaranteed, so I went ahead and refunded you the money, blah, blah, blah. So putting all those, you know, positive details into the reaction to all those negatives when they, it's probably a matter of when it pops up, when it happens. So, and then, <laughs> here he comes. What up? Down here a little too long for you, so you had to come down, huh? Um... And then another issue I'm dealing with now, I got an email from eBay saying that my seller matrix are very high in one certain category or whatever. So I'm like, what? So I went and looked, and in music CDs, 
has the ranking normal, high, very high. So on the music CDs, I am very high. So I downloaded the detailed report. And remember me telling you about the guy who bought all the CDs from me and left those medioc mediocre neutral feedbacks on all of them, or pretty much all of them, but like one or two. And he bought like 20 CDs from me. It's so like 18 or something neutral feedbacks. CD's great. Plays great. Plays good or whatever, but they're all, they're neutral. I'm like, well, apparently, and I guess I forgot about this. He opened a return on six of them and then closed the return. I don't know if he made a mistake or what. I have no idea. He opened the return and then closed the return. But when he opened the return, he put the reasoning as parts and pieces missing on all six of them. It's a CD, front insert, back insert, CD. So clearly that's not the case. And now I've got those six strikes that pushed me up into the very high bracket. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm not going to worry about that because that's obviously a, not a uh, monthly occurrence. And I blocked him. So he's bought like 40 CDs and cassettes from me over the past couple of few months. I hate to block him, but he's ruining my account. So can't have that. So he is blocked. So yeah, it's just kind of a dull damper day with like whatever's going on with eBay again today or well hasn't been this bad in a while for me and then waiting on those negative beat myself up basically over those negatives that may or may not even happen and then getting that email from eBay it's like it's very hard to uh concentrate today but yeah $220 going to be going on 5 o'clock I like to have 5 by 5 3 by 5 at the lowest so unless something changes here in the next 30 minutes I'm not going to have that but what's weird is like I'm having, I'll am i have these spurts um, 10 o'clock hour 2 items sold 11 o'clock hour 1 item then nothing in the 12 o'clock hour. Then the 1 o'clock, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 items sold in the 1 o'clock hour. And then at 1.40, and that's between 1 and 1.40, all those items. And then at 1.40, it just shuts off. And I've had nothing since. So three hours just dead. <laughs> what are you going to do? <sighs> just one of those icky days let's get into what I did pull what did sell where am I at alright so 11 orders first someone ordered 3 lots of these Pinewood Derby Boy Scout patches. Uh, so all these together sold for $27. We've got an Affliction shirt. And this sold for $32. Yaka Bolivia. Some Save Our Planet CD. That sold for $7. And then we got Are You Ready for a Hat Lot? Yeah. So somebody bought three hats that are, I've marked. Well, this one says Scott City on the back. What that is, I have no idea. This one I put Unknown P Star logo. And then this one just says Wildcat on the back. So that's all I put. 
bought those three hats. Those sold for $30 for all three of them. Next, we got a 1980s rock sealed CD. That sold for $14. STL. I think this is like the Browns, St. Louis Browns. So that sold for $10. Pleasure. Special Things cassette. Sold for $13.50. Got some Billy Joe sheet music here. I sold for $5. Took an offer on that. Taking any and all offers to get some sales today. We got some Jordan 6s. Youth size. Uh, $9. Those have been in the store for a while. We've got a Tommy Bahama t-shirt. That sold for $9. And then Carmen Family and Roy Turner Sing Along Vinyl Record sold for $8.40. So yeah, kind of a stinky, stinky day all around. Uh, questions and comments. How many hours a day do you work with listing, packing, editing? Well, I don't edit. I usually get up, well, here lately I've been getting up about 7. So I start getting working about 7.30 or 8. And then I usually work till about 8 or 9, depending on when Jan gets off. If she gets off at 9, I'm usually working until 10. So. But is it really work? No. <laughs> I know like today today I was spending most of the time just going around YouTube looking at not watching but just kind of looking at eBay sellers YouTube videos on how they're thumbnailing them and titling them and then if the title's interesting I'll go in and just kind of read the comments for some reason I don't know why I'm not watching any of the videos but I'm just like reading all this I'm like man and I guess it's just the headspace I'm in today because of the three negatives things. But uh, I was like, man, these people just feed off this drama. Because I started reading something about uh, one person talking about it, another person. And then somebody mentions me in the comments. And you know, it's just weird. I'm like, People just feed off that stuff. I'm like, I'm kind of glad I'm removed myself from it. The money was better, sure. I mean, those months I was getting seventeen hundred dollars a month from YouTube videos, so. fifteen to seventeen. So, but it just wears you down, drags you down. So, so just just trying to keep myself out of the. Uh, Get myself lifted back up. <laughs> I love your dogs. I have two boxers. I wouldn't be able to get any work done with those two babies around. <laughs> yeah, that's why when you say, how long do you work? There's times where I take them out front. We play. You're always giving them attention. Feed time. So it's not consistent straight work. Does eBay do this because of processing and delivery time factors? I don't think so. I've got one day deliver or you know handling or whatever, and I'm always all my numbers are good, so I have no idea what's going on today. And that evaluation thing shouldn't have nothing to do with it because I've had it before. And they just say they'll evaluate, evaluate you again on the 20th of next month. And when I look at what I'll be next month as of right now, the numbers obviously drop drastically. So back down to the peer level or whatever it is. So. I've got one sale each day for the last seven days. That's never happened before. Looking at my sales chart, it just looks wrong. 
see. I filed a complaint with the Better, Better Business Bureau twice in the last three years. And both times my sales went up for a month then cut in half the following month. I doubt it's a coincidence. I don't know. But those BBC things, I don't think they, they're they taken too seriously unless there's like a buttload of them. Then they reach out to the business or something. I think, if I remember, but I don't know for sure. It's just something I remember, but I don't know. That's been quite a while. Gross sales down 34.4 from the same time last year. Awesome. Let me see what I'm down from last year, this year. Right now I'm up 17.3 today from the last 30 days. Uh, net sales up 13% and an offer just came through for $46. Done. For some Bose speakers Amanda gave me over at the Benz. She handed them to me and said, you want these? I'm like, sure. That'll definitely help out. That's why I like at least a few of my decent-ish dollar stuff is moving. You know, it ain't all like lower dollar stuff. So that's a positive. Look at the positive, James. Like that. So this year, same period last year, I am down 21.1% from last year. Quantity sold down 32.5, which makes sense because I bumped up my prices on the low dollar stuff. And my average sale cost per item is up 17%. So those two go together perfectly there. But down 21%, that ain't too much. If eBay gets their stuff together, that could rebound pretty nicely. But all my categories are down 31, 3, 35. 3, 11, my top five categories. Even though I have more product in those categories than I did at this time last year. I don't think they're throttling. I think they have made so many software changes. They are, resulted, they are resulting in cascading glitches compounded with grant, granting more exposure to watches, shoes, and high-end retail. Yeah, that makes sense. That they messed up the site and don't know how to fix it. Yep. I feel that one. That's what I believe, too. I've hit the longest no-sale streak yet. I haven't sold anything since 322. We're at 326 now, so four days. Except an $8 item. I have 5,900 items in my store. I usually sell an average of 800 to 1,000 a week. That's crazy. eBay has to throttle sales, I understand. But what bothers me is they encourage sellers to list more, and they put view counts that can't be supported by corresponding sales figures. Uh, I don't think international can leave negative. Yeah, I don't use the eBay Global International shipping because it costs more for the buyer, so you sell less. So, so for me, they can leave negative. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it, dude. Even if you get 10 negative feedback, you'll still be above 99%. Yeah, because I think it only counts as one. It just looks. You just see all 10 of them. And it counts as 10 there, but toward the pop, the percentage, I think it only counts as one. Like one customer, not 10 negatives. I think that was part of the last change they made quite a while ago. Just reply to them. Yeah, exactly. That's what I got to do. Just started watching your videos. You have a massive store. D you do everything yourself or do you have help? Thanks for the interesting videos. My son does the evening shipping and the weekend shipping most of the time. And my wife's been getting into going to the bins for a little bit to enjoy her day off. So 
Everything else is done by me. Except the taxes, of course. Alright, that's all. I gotta get back to, uh, kind of drafting and listing. I'm just going at a nice slow pace today. Oh, anyway. That's enough for me. Enough for me. Get out of my poopy mood, James. Get out of my poopy mood, James. That's, what's, that's what sucks about having a conscious, man. You worry about stuff. Right? Boo. Boo to the conscious. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. I will see you all in the next video. Later.